Today on Kraken's Garage, we're gonna replace the uh, oil dipstick with a temperature gauge and also the uh, chrome bezel with a black bezel. Let's get to it. This is kind of a simple install video. It's not gonna be very uh, enlightening or polar uh, as far as content goes. Stay tuned to the end. We're gonna show a reader's ride he sent me some pictures and I'll talk about Million Dollar Bogan and uh, what's happening with that gentleman. And uh, he's off on another adventure and we'll discuss that in a little bit of detail at the end. One of the biggest challenges with Sportsters for quite some period of time has, has been uh, the oil dipstick. And what I mean by that is when you screw it down, it, you have to really aggressively screw it down. And when you think you've got it seated, you gotta turn it one more crank as hard as you can to the point where you think you're gonna break it to get it to seat properly. Not on the uh, Roadster, but on the Iron 48 and you know, several of the other models, the seat, when you sit on it, presses down on it and it's a pop-up. So when it happens to hit it, it pops up and with all the vibration, it eventually starts to work itself loose. And there's been many reports of people losing their dipstick going down the road, or it's spewing oil out all over the side of their bike, let alone riding with uh, not the proper amount of oil while you're going down the road. If you're gonna keep the stock dipstick, which there's nothing wrong with it, just know that you're gonna have to manhandle it when you screw it in and screw it in really tight. And when you think you've got it seated, give it another good tight, then pop it down. With that said, we're gonna replace mine with an oil uh, temperature gauge. I chose the analog one. I'm not a fan of the digital ones that you have to press a button and it illuminates and uh, gives you a digital readout of the temperature of the oil. I don't need to be fiddling that with that with gloves as I'm going down the road to get a quick view of the temperature of my oil. It's not that important when you're going down the road, but it is for me on a 100 degree day, uh, Fahrenheit that is, and I'm in stop and go traffic and my bike's starting to overheat. I kind of want to watch the oil and when you get caught in that situation every so often on an air-cooled V-twin, you gotta pull over and let it cool off a bit. Whenever I uh, install any parts on my bike, I try to remember, I don't always remember, to tell you about the country of origin from the parts. In this particular case, the temperature uh, gauge dipstick is packaged in Germany with parts from Taiwan. In the case of the gloss black bezel, I'll throw the part numbers up on the screen in case you're interested. This one says the country of origin, USA. Wow, a Harley part that's made in the USA. That's unbelievable. First thing we've got to do is remove the seat. Every time I drop bolts. Now, I bought these uh, nylon pry bars from Amazon. They were cheap, five, six bucks. Whenever you're working with panels, car door panels, things like that, and you don't want to mar surfaces, these nylon pry bars work really well. What we're gonna do, this is just a false metal color cover over the uh, oil tank, and we're gonna get it started and then pop that sucker right off. Boom. You can see all this trim ring, which is plastic by the way, is held on by a push on washer right here. And we're gonna pry that off real quickly, pop on the new one and then pop her back on. Whenever you're laying any painted surfaces down, make sure you get a nice uh, soft, clean cloth to uh, this uh, push on holder is gonna be a rascal to get off. And there we go. These always get destroyed when you take them off, so they're throwaways, you can't use them again. And with that said, this should slide right off, which it does. Excellent. Like I said, plastic. In Harley's defense, that may be to keep the uh, weight down any way they can. Okay, before we install the new one, let's clean that up and get all those dust particles and uh, debris that slid up underneath this uh, covering. Take our new, bezel and slide her on there. This one is plastic as well. Let's get that new wash washer pushed on. Kind of pesky, but that got the job done. Let's pop this back on.
done. Unfortunately, the temperature gauge is chrome and they don't sell a black version of it, but I can live with that. And done. Now in this case, this one doesn't pop, so a lot of people that complain about the uh, Harley design of that original OEM oil cap that you pop to lift up the handle to be able to twist, that becomes undone as you're going down the road, which has been problematic. This has been the fix for most people to get it squared away. She's looking real good. Let's do one quick wipe down. And pop the seat back on. Okay, if anybody would like my chrome bezel or my OEM dipstick, just uh, send me an email to krakensgarage at gmail.com and I'll mail them to you for free. Uh, if you need this, happy to set forward, pay it forward to somebody else. So let me know and hit me up if you're interested. Just bear in mind that if you need this, you're gonna have to get one of these push on washers from your local Harley dealer. They should be able to help you out with that. Okay, regarding Million Dollar Bogan, I follow him on Facebook and I'll throw up some screenshots on the screen here, he is up and moto vlogging again. He's on another trip with his best mate and uh, I don't wanna steal his thunder so I won't expand on it any further than that. I will say that this, he did drop some hints that uh, this is assumption on my part, so we all know what assume means. It makes an ass out of you and me, so don't read too much into that. But he alluded to the fact that uh, he had been in communication with Harley Davidson and maybe the outpouring cry of all the YouTubers and the public reached out to the man and uh, got Harley to talk to uh, Danny and, and uh, hopefully get that ship back on course where it needs to be for all parties involved. So I'm very excited about that. I hope that's true. In other news, I'm gonna throw up some pictures. Alan, who sent me this Australia hat, I did text him. We had a conversation the other night. Uh, what a lovely man and uh, salt of the earth. He is a wheat farmer in Western Australia. I'll show up a picture of his rig up here. He has two wide glides. He bought a 100th anniversary wide glide that he has on what looks like a mirror pedestal I'll put up here. And uh, he hasn't ridden that bike. That's his treasure. It has 0.3 kilometers on that bike and it's a 2003. So God bless this man. I don't, I don't know what to say. His, his remarks to me were so very kind. As a human being, I just don't get that many compliments in life. And uh, so it was sobering to hear and um, enlightening and uplifting. So Alan, I very much appreciate it. I'll pr proudly sport your hat and thank you. Note to any of the other viewers, if you wanna email me your bikes, I'll throw them up on the next episode and give you a shout out. Email me your pictures at krakensgarage at gmail.com and we'll get those pictures posted of your fine rides. I don't care what it is. Benelli, a Vespa, a Harley, they're all badass to me. You're on two wheels and in the wind and that's what it's all about. I'm working on making up some stickers. I got together with a friend, a shout out to my friend Tiffany, who's doing some artwork. And we're gonna do a die cut sticker for Kraken's Garage and Adventures that hopefully will go on, uh, you know, tastefully on your swing arm or something like that. And I'll do some sort of medallion type sticker with my logo. And um, initially, no, I'm not gonna sell them initially, but uh, initially, if anybody wants them, I'll mail them to you. I'll keep you updated on the status of that. And when we get some uh, pictures going, um, I'll shoot up, I'll throw up a screenshot of what Tiffany has worked on so far. And we both agree that the uh, script writing on Kraken's Garage is a little too narrow. So she's trying to beef that up some to make it stand out a little more. If you're interested in rocking some of those stickers, I'll hook you up. And eventually, hopefully it'll be a source of income uh, as this <laughs> channel continues to go broke. Uh, when we get to a point where uh, we have a lot of subscribers, hopefully uh, I'll put those up for sale for some minimal amount. The proceeds from that will, will go to Tiffany to foot the bill for her hard work. She's doing the cutting out and um, buying the supplies and things of that nature. So. I tip my hat to Tiffany and we'll introduce her later uh, when we get the stickers done. So looking forward to that. Some really good news there. Moving forward, trying to build the, the whole Kraken's Garage portfolio as a whole. I kind of view my channel as a business and I'm the CEO and my board of directors is you. 
So when we talk about it, and I'm being transparent about what we're making, what we're losing, things of that nature, chime in. We're on this venture together. And one last item I wanted to talk about for Christmas, my niece, Erica, who uh, is named after me, uh, and her husband, Chris, bought this for me for Christmas. It's an Old Spice Crack and Guard figurine de deodorant holder. Wait a minute. What the hell are you trying to tell me, Erica? <laughs> Anyway, she saw it in the store, and she and Chris saw it in the store, and just had to get it for me. So let's take a look. Oh my God. This falls under the category of two mucking fudge. There's the Kraken Old Spice deodorant holder. That'll pr proudly live in my bathroom. So uh, th thank you. Many thanks to Chris and Eric, I really appreciate it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have a weird sense of humor. <laughs> and they know me oh too well. With that said, there's my ghost dog, uh, Bourbon. He's here to tell us uh, in ha Kraken's Haunted Garage that it's time to wrap up this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Whoop, thumbs down. And if you wanna see more of the future, hit that button down in the corner. Remember, folks, go riding. It's good for you. Peace.